What does business look like in the year 2023 and moving forward? Hey, Jason, if you've been watching the channel, you've been seeing me go through Joburg, showing you how beautiful of a city this is, how safe it is here, and how much I love it here. And most importantly, I've been talking to you about success, what it is, how to get it in the three areas of life that I focus on, which are happiness, health, and wealth. If you're new to the channel, success, the definition of success by Earl Nightingale is the progressive realization of a worthy idea. And then I think being a business or starting a business is a very worthy idea. So I wanted to talk about this. So I was actually on the TikTok live um, watching a buddy of mine that's here in South Africa, George. Make sure you follow him, George Washington III. And it was interesting because the uh, people started shifting the conversation to business and talking about lack of opportunities. And hearing their examples of business, I started realizing they don't really know what business is for the year 2023. Like a lot of us are thinking of only brick and mortar, old traditional style things of how we see or how we've seen how business is done. However, after the pandemic with the lockdown and everything, it shifted the world. At that time, about 50 to 60 percent of the world shifted to where it's now a digital marketplace. Like there's more to be done online than there is to be done in a brick and mortar store. Literally, I can have a store running online 24 seven all over the world. Whereas when I'm in an actual brick and mortar store, I can only keep that running for a certain amount of uh, hours in a day. Plus, I got to pay people to run it. I have to pay overhead to have that business there. Like there's so much extra cost in those type of business models. It really doesn't make sense anymore. However, if most people are still thinking of those traditional business models and because most people are still going to traditional universities. And let's just be honest, if you're learning something that came out of a textbook, that means it's old and outdated. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean it in a way of we live in a digital age now, like literally people weren't able to go to school. What? Three years ago, was it when the pandemic was like, how were people learning? People were going learning digitally. And so, like, we have to start looking at business from a digital perspective also. And so, like, what are some things that you can do online? Like, what kind of business can you open? You can do drop shipping business. This is something that's easily done here in South Africa. You can do it working with take a lot. And you can actually do some of the things with Amazon, too, as they're starting to slowly integrate into the country. <clears throat> you can do uh, ebooks. You can do your self-publishing. Uh, that's one of the other beautiful things I love about Amazon. Most people don't know this. Uh, we did, uh, my late wife and I, we created our own publishing company on Amazon. So we have uh, about 200 diaries, planners, and uh, our own children's mindset book on there that we have published. And it does make money to this day. Like, that's something that's really amazing. And then, so let's say if you're like, oh, I don't want to write books or I don't want to do drop shipping, you can do things such as affiliate marketing where you're selling products of other people's stuff. These are real products and all you're doing is just making a commission. I recommend doing like courses, programs like that or things that can give you uh, returning commissions. You can become your own digital marketer, which is a very vast uh, spectrum of things you can do. Under that, you can become your own brand ambassador. Those are things such as the, with the Kardashians. You know, most people watch them, but they're not understanding the business of what they're really doing. And even to this day, when I hear people like, oh, they don't have talent, they don't have talent. You don't have to have talent. <laughs> they're living proof of it. Like they're showing you if you build an influence, you don't need talent. And that's what brand ambassador is. You're building so much of a following people who are constantly engaged in your content. And because they became an excellent uh, curator of content, this is how they got those TV deal shows and all of these bigger deals. Like it's, it's levels to it. When they first started out, you saw that they had like a cosign shop where they were selling uh, uh, used clothes, I think, if I remember correctly. And then uh, luxury used clothes and just selling them at a profit. Then from there, they started where they started ambas uh, branding their name. Then they started getting these ambassador deals. Now they get royalties. Like it's different levels to it, but it's all done from the digital spectrum. Like you don't see them opening up restaurants every day. You don't see them doing little things like that. If you want a traditional brick and mortar business, the best thing that you can look into in the year 2023, you have to look at it from a scaling perspective, which means usually like luxury apartment towers or apartment home buildings. 
where you're buying multifamily real estate in large numbers. And I don't know about you, I don't have the money to do that, but that's one of the reasons why I do um, private investment with Cardone Capital. Like that's another thing that I do to earn money. Like it's so many different levels to things that you can do and we have to start changing our understanding of what business is because if we keep looking at it from the traditional perspective and not looking at it from what it is right here today, by the time five or 10 years passes, it's going to be too late. And then we're really just out here wishing and hoping and, you know, praying for a miracle when we can get ourselves straight up, uh, straight up and ready for it now. So that's it for today. I wanted to keep that one very short. I just thought it was funny watching that live and um, just the examples that people are giving. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. If you think opening a nightclub and things like that is going to be something to make you money. Those places don't make money, man. They are not. They are not making money like the TV show. Like most of those places run in the red and stuff, except for like two or three times out of the year. Like the people are not going to places like that anymore. People, the whole perspective of how customers shifted their their outlook on buying and spending of their money completely changed. Like we have to realize after what happened during 2020 like the whole world reset people don't want to do a lot of things that they used to do people want an experience uh people this is why people want to go to nice luxury restaurants they want to have a place where they can take beautiful pictures things like that the mindset of people change because of something such traumatic as the, pan the pandemic and so when that's changed the whole business models change too that's why you saw so many businesses going out and so many businesses thriving all under the same system. <clears throat> and so just wanted to share that with you. Hit the like button if you like this type of content. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. And most importantly, just remember, I'm Jason. And success is simple once you know how.